There is no despair in the world. Talk to Hashem for one hour every day. Every day of our life, yearn, pray, and make a practical effort to live in Eretz Israel. There's only one necessary path, and that's simplicity. Good morning, good morning. Boker Tov, Boker Tov. It's Akiva Nachman. Welcome to the Simple Life Breastlift Podcast. This episode is... In the merit of Chava Amuna Bat Sarah Leah Nava Bat Chava Amuna, Bitzala Moshe Bin Chava Amuna, Malka Rivka Bat Chava Amuna, Aliyah Zapora Bat Chava Amuna, Bat Yechaya Bat Chava Amuna, Yosef Simcha Bin Chava Amuna, and also for the protection of all the IDF soldiers and for the protection and safe relief of all the hostages. It's also dedicated to all of those who feel stuck, who feel like I've gone so far and I don't know how to find my way back. And also for those who may feel confused as to why they continue to go through so many challenges. This episode is for you. So I wanna talk about why we fall. And I think it's important that we have the right frame of mind when we're going through different challenges and struggles, obstacles. We fall, then we rise, we fall and we rise and it's just this consistent thing. I think it's very important that we have the right frame of mind for falling. When we find ourselves in dark places, maybe some of you guys have a breakthrough and then a little bit after that, you fall back down again. So Rabbi Nachman, he has the most incredible teaching on this idea here. So in Lakute Moran, in lesson number 22, it says here, every person must constantly advance from level to level. When the time comes for someone to advance from one level to the next, he must first experience a fall before he can rise up. The whole purpose of the fall is to prepare for the advance. So no matter how far you may fall, you should never allow yourself to be discouraged. Remain firm and resolute. In the end, the fall will be transformed into a great advance. This is its whole purpose. People think this only applies to those on a very high level. Sorry, people think this applies only to those who are on very high levels, who are continually advancing from level to level. But you should know that it holds true for even people on the lowest of levels, for God is good to all. So when I first read this, it gave me so much encouragement. I was very encouraged because I've never heard anyone explain the purpose of the fall. And this really helped me to look at my fall differently. When I fall, it's not necessarily because I messed up. The whole purpose of the fall is to prepare for the ascent. And actually this fall, Rabbi Nachman talks about that the falls are actually sent from Hashem, which is a beautiful way to look at it. And for me, I started thinking like, man, if Hashem is sending me these things. This means that he's also in this challenge. If he sent it to me, this means that he's not going to do anything that's going to hurt me. He only wants what's best for me. God is good to all. He's good. So that means that he wants my good. And everything happens for my good. And so this really started to help uh, transform my thought process around falling. And it's helped me tremendously and so now I look at it totally different now in the book restore my soul we talked about this on another episode I believe it was the episode before this one and it's a continuation so it's still in um, so let's see so on page nine it is the sixth lesson here but it also lets us know where we can find it and this is also in the Kutu Moran and this is lesson 25 so when a person wishes to enter into the service of God, and this applies to everyone, even someone on the lowest levels, even someone who is literally in the earth, he must at all times advance and rise from level to level. Now, every time a person is about to move from one level to the next, each in his own way, he has to encounter the full force of the klipot all over again. And for those who don't know, a klipot or a klipa, klipot is plural, a klipa is basically a, a husk, a shell. When we do things that we're not supposed to do, it forms like a shell around our soul. And the more we do, 
the harder or the thicker this particular shell, this husk gets in simple terms. So he has to encounter the full force of the clepot all over again. These are all his desires and fantasies and wild thoughts, the distractions, the obstacles that are ranged against a person at every moment and that try to prevent him from entering the gates of holiness. This often leads to great confusion in the minds of honest people who have truly worked hard on themselves. Suddenly, they find all these old desires, confusions, and obstacles rising up against them. They start thinking that they must have fallen from their level because before this, they had rest from all these desires and confusions. They lay dormant. Now, they have reappeared. These people come to think they must have fallen down. But this is no fall. What is happening is that the time has come for them to advance from one level to the next, each in his own way. This is why all the desires and confusions and obstacles, all the crookedness in the heart, are stirred up against them with fresh force. Each time this happens, you must fortify yourself and refuse to lose heart. Strengthen yourself against these forces and break them anew. Again, this is Lakuti Moran, Lesson 25. I was talking to my Rav last night, Rav David Kalmas. He's an incredible, incredible teacher. He's dedicated his, he's dedicated his life to teaching and sharing the teachings of Rebbe Nachman of Breslov. And um, I mean, he's been such a blessing in, uh, in, in my family's life. And so we spoke last night and it was such a, 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 a beautiful moment for me and I needed it. It was right on time. The reason that certain things are reappearing is because it's time to go to a different level. And I love this perspective from Rebbe Nachman because it makes me want to get closer to God even more because I know he sent it to me and I know that he's not going to do anything that's going to hurt me. And it, it's him letting me know that it's time to advance. And this gives me such peace in moving through these hard times. And uh, my, my Rav was talking about you have to find those good points. Azamra. It's another teaching of Rabbi Nachman, which we'll talk about on another episode. But my Rav was encouraging me to find the good points in yourself. Find the good points. Find those good points. Find, find, dig, 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 dig. And you find those good points in yourself then that brings you to a place of simcha, brings you to a place of happiness and joy while you're going through and coming out of your challenges. So stay encouraged. Rabbi Nachman says, don't give up, never despair, never give up hope. We all should be worthy of God's compassion and we should all grow closer and closer and closer to Hashem and serve Him with purity and simplicity. Love you all.